Have a seat. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Hey, guys. Um, I'm Jesse. for those who don't know. And we are so excited that all of you are here tonight. Welcome, parents. Super excited that you guys are here. Awesome. Yeah, hey. And my name is Brett, and I am the student pastor, which means I get to work with and lead the teams that pull off our high school and middle school environments. And we just were really glad to have this many parents in the room. It's very encouraging. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, so tonight is an opportunity to do a couple of things. We're obviously going to worship together. We are going to um, play some games, um, which we have to do because we have parents in the room. And they don't play enough games. Never. Um, so we need to get them in the mood of playing games. So we're going to yeah. do that. Um, we're also going to have the opportunity to hear from a number of seniors. They're going to get to share about the kind of their experience as a high schoolers. Um, so it's going to be a really, really fun night. It's an opportunity for us to celebrate what God has done this year in Ripple Effect um, and to celebrate what God has done over the life of four years of our seniors and of our leaders. So it's going to be a really, really enjoyable night. In fact, tonight was planned by a handful of seniors. So Jeff, yeah, Jeff, our high school director, um, has been me and, and Matt, who works on production, They've been creating this night for a number of weeks now. So pretty much everything that happens tonight is because um, a group of high schoolers said, let's do this. So they picked the songs, they picked the games, and did all that. So it's yeah. pretty cool. So we're going to start with a game. Yes. So it's the end of the school year, and you've been ha your head students have been filled with all kinds of wonderful, useful knowledge all year long, very helpful information. Um, so we figured, let's go ahead and quiz you on stuff that really doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. So like, we're just, like that, that. We're just so unlike everything they learned at school, which all matters. Yes, yeah, um, so important. Math, I use it all the time. All right, so, um, we're, we're, but like, it's called Generation Gap. We're gonna play a game called Generation Gap, and since we have multiple generations in the room, let's get a couple of parents and students to compete. Yes, against each other. Yeah. Because so, it's better than competition. Yeah, so are there any parents <laughs> who want to give the beat down to their students and tr useless trivia? Anyone, any parents want to come up? I I'll, I'll, I'll force parents to come oh, up. Please. But, uh, but, oh, and the students have to come up with oh, them. Oh, yeah. Right. So, so yeah, Ms. Barnhill, come on up. Bring Josh with you. It's two. Awesome. Right, which oh. student, which parent are you bringing? <laughs> Not if she's saying no. Gosh, I can't force her to come on stage. Come on, parents, step up. There you go. Oh, yes. Bring, yes, your, yes, bring yes. your child with you. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, Claire, get up here. Yes, Claire, Woo! come on up. <laughs> All right, one more set. We need a set of, we need three. All right, and she's making you come. She's making you come. I like it. All yes. right. So, um, actually, let's do this. Um, I'll take the parents, I'll take the students on my side. So, parents, why don't you yes. go over to Jesse? Come, come hang um, out with me. Students, come on over here to my side. You can line up over here. 
Yeah, let's line up in order of, so we got Barn Hills, then, yeah, then Roll Quinn, then, Here, okay, you so you're over there. Over here. We're going to go ahead and introduce, so um, go ahead and tell everybody your name, what grade you're in, and um, what your favorite subject in school is. Okay, so I'm Joshua Barnhill. I go to Pender High. I'm a freshman, and my favorite subject is probably history. Very good, very good. Not more useless knowledge. Uh, they, those who can't do, teach. All right, so, um, all right, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I was a teacher. I, I was a teacher. I have a degree in education. All right, so, and that, that's why I'm a youth pastor. All right, um, <laughs> next. Na okay, um, I'm Claire. I'm a... S I'm a senior at Hoggard, and my favorite subject is chorus. Chorus. Yes. <laughs> chorus is not a subject. Yes, it is. You work very hard in that class. <laughs> I'm, Is I'm Isabella, and I'm a senior. I'm a senior at Hoggard, and mine is math. Oh, all right. Very good. All right. So Let's meet the parents. Yes. Yeah, so name and what your favorite subject was. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like that. Karen Barnhill, Josh's mom, and I don't really, that was a long time ago. I don't know what my favorite subject was. If you could go back and do college again, what would you do? She basically good at everything is what she was trying to if say. If you could go back and do college again, what would you do? Um, I, I did political science. I probably would still do that. Okay. Poli sci. Very good. Hi, Jim Rothman, uh, Claire's dad, and uh, phys physical education. Yeah, PE is the best. <laughs> Yeah, Do you like that class, Claire? Okay. <laughs> hey, my name is Rebecca, and Isabella's mom, and I think mine was math. Math, okay. Like mother, like daughter. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. Um, I've got a bunch of questions that your parents could probably answer. I'm going to ask them to you. Jesse has a bunch of questions your students could probably answer, and uh, she's going to ask them to you. So. Basically, I'm gonna, we're going to rotate. So when you're done, go to the end of the line, and, and we'll just kind of keep the score and try to figure out who's winning. All right? So do, should we let the parents go first? Yes. Yeah. All right. Parents first. first. Okay. You ready? Yeah. What? Sorry. I need this right now. So what drink is also the title of a Beyonce album? <laughs> oh, lemonade. Oh, she got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's good. So parents with one. Very good. So you got yeah, you rotate. All right. Josh, who sang this, the 1980s hit song, Uptown Girl? That's tough. That was 22 years before I was born. Yeah. What year were you born? 2002. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So born in the 2000s. All right. They're high schoolers born in the 2000s. All right. Just take a guess. An artist? <laughs> he was an artist. He's, in fact, one of the greatest artists of all time. It is Billy Joel. So there you go. All right. So no points. Next question. What is Kylie and Kendall's last name? Jenner. <laughs> yeah, phys ed. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. So apparently they're up with pop culture and they're not up with past culture. All right. What is this president's last name? You can take a, take a look at the picture. What is this president's last name? I'm going to guess Carter. That is correct. That is correct. Well done, Claire. I had no idea what that one was. <laughs> I, was I think I was alive when he was born. I was born when he was president. 1978. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what does hashtag TBT mean? <laughs> you want to guess? Oh. Oh. oh, man. I don't know. Getting a little bit of help from teammates over there. I don't know. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, we'll make it okay for the parents since I'm one. Yeah, yeah what is it? Yes, throwback Thursday. All right. You got to beat your mom. What is a Werther's original? Butterscotch. It is a candy. It is a candy. Yeah, that's it. Good. Werther's originals. All right, um, so it's 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two. Two. Is it 3-2? Oh, they, that's two. right. They just got it. 3-2. Oh, I'm sorry. I just hit you. Complete this phrase. 
Netflix and <laughs> Chew. Are you embarrassed? He said you said he's so embarrassed. <laughs> She does work at a university, so there is a little bit of context. And she was a tsunami small group leader, that's true. So she is kind of in that, yeah. So, all right. Which fast food restaurant had a television commercial that asked, where's the beef? I couldn't have gotten the last question. What restaurant would have beef? It, oh my goodness. Do you know what he was just about to say? Chick-fil-A. <laughs> that does make sense, right? Because their whole thing is anti-beef, so I get it, but. <laughs> Zaxby's is incorrect. All right, it is Wendy's, Wendy's, Wendy's. Yeah. All right, Ready? this is the last question, right? Yeah. All right, they have no chance of coming back, so. Just what rub it in. is this Ninja Turtle's name? I don't even know if the kids would know that one. <laughs> you know that one? Yeah, I knew it. Pepperoni. <laughs> no, sorry. Michelangelo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. In the, same, in the same vein, what is this television character's name? Take a look. <laughs> I'm not going to try to guess that one. <laughs> uh, isn't that on repeat? Uh, are there re repeat reruns? That is Steve Urkel, one of the greatest characters of all time. Did a crossover show on the Full House in the 80s. Yeah, it was awesome. All right, well, parents, you are the winners. We do have a prize. Oh, we have a prize. Fidget spinners for all of you. There you Yay. go. So, yeah, what is that? <laughs> Ask your kids. There you go. All right. Here, you guys can have these. There you go. Congratulations. All right. That was fun. We have a couple of announcements, a couple of things to talk about tonight, all right? Yes. So, Student Ministry Summer Nights is starting very soon because the summer is basically upon us. And they are starting on Wednesday, not this following coming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after that. So come, there's Bible studies, come hang out with your friends, and it is Tsunami and Ripple Effect together. So if you have a little sibling that's in Tsunami, yeah. drag them along. But you're going to be doing Bible studies separate, kind of divided yes. by grades. We're going to be looking at the book of Mark. Uh, we also have a lot of really fun stuff planned throughout the summer in addition to the Bible studies. Yes, yep. some fun. So it starts on what date? The 14th. Yes, <laughs> all right. Well, also, there's something else significant about the 14th. The 14th is a deadline that you need to be aware of. It is the last day to sign up for Fuse Camp. Um, if you um, have been to Fuse Camp before, you know how amazing it is. If you haven't been before, Fuse is our summer camp experience for middle and high school students. We are going back to Tennessee. It is going to be awesome. We have, we've been working really hard on planning the programming for this year, and it's going to be a really good time. Stuart Hall is coming to speak at camp. Yeah, so we're real excited about that, too. Actually, I think Stuart's coming to speak here on Sundays in a for a couple weeks, too. So yeah. we're going to get a big big help in a Stuart Hall uh, over the next couple months. But um, it is going to be a lot of fun. So you have to sign up with a deposit by June 14th. Now, if you have not signed up yet, we have an opportunity to win the deposit tonight. Like, if you are planning on going, uh, there's a student who's, like, dying to go, and you haven't paid the deposit yet. Is there anybody here who would like the chance to take an impossible shot to earn the deposit? Are you planning on going? Do you have a parent here? No, oh, we need a student with a parent here. And parent, you will want to do this. Lacey, Lacey Brown. Brown? Have you signed up yet? Parent, if, if, is there a parent here who's like, I want to send my kid, but I don't want to pay the deposit? This is, we need something. Yeah, oh. all right, Miss Reigns. Come on up. Yep, here we go. You too, Anna. All right, yep, both of you, come up. Awesome. Yeah, so here's how this game works. This, is, this game, it's the impossible shot. It is called Egg Drop. So here's how this is going to work. Anna, you are going to lay down on the floor this way right here. Your head's over there, okay? Um, you are going to hold the cup on your head, on your forehead, Mom, you're going to climb up on the ladder, crack the egg, and try to drop it in the cup. I'm serious. 
I may actually give you multiple shots if you if you miss on purpose a couple times. So um, so we're gonna set up this ladder. Um, it is a really high ladder, but I'm glad you're not wearing a skirt. So um, so there we go. We've made that mistake before. So Anna, why don't you scoot this way a little bit? Scoot, scoot. Actually, is egg good for your hair? Yes, very good. Egg's good for your hair and for your skin. So Always. go ahead and lay yeah. down. Um, so I got some eggs over here. I got, a, I got one right here. Oh, you got an egg. Great. All right. So go ahead and climb on up. Anna. So, yeah, we want you to crack it. Yeah. Uh, all right, there you go. All right, so we're going to stand out of the way. No, scoot down a little bit. This is awesome. Okay. awesome. Oh, uh, yeah, come yes, on. let's hear it for Anna. All right, that's good. That's good. We'll let you go there. All right, that's good. This is awesome. No, lay down. Anna, lay down. Take it like a woman. Lay down. I know. I know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's like what, the egg whites are falling. Oh, man. Put it on your forehead. There you go. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, should we do another one? Yeah, that, let, let's give her another one. Anna, Anna, just scoot up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's good. Now she doesn't have to lean over as far. Oh, gosh, eggshells everywhere. All right. It's good for it. Don't forget that. We can wash it out. It's moisturizing. We'll go. We'll go. All right, yeah. one more shot. This is impossible shot or two. And don't worry about separating the whites. Just drop the whole, oh, or, or just separate them. Okay. This is unbelievable. Oh, goodness. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Dad's over there got the camera. This is awesome. All right. Way to go. <laughs> that, that was worth $100 right there. So, Anna. Make sure you talk to Pat and make sure we get your deposit taken care of. So, and you're going, yeah, and you're going to Fuse. So that's awesome. Thank you guys. Awesome. All right. Well, want to give you guys a little bit of context. If you are not familiar at all with Fuse, here's a little recap from last year, set up to kind of give you an idea of what this year. So, we're gonna get the ladder. Don't worry, we got the ladder. All right, check out this quick promo. Fuse 16 was unlike any other. 500 students and 100 leaders, all going back into the woods. We made new friends, threw globs of paint at each other, survived a Sasquatch invasion together, and watched sixth grade boys get scared out of their minds. More importantly, we experienced worship that resonated deep within us, spent time talking about Jesus, and heard a message that challenged all of us as we left camp. So here's my question. Who's ready to do it all again? Fuse 17 is coming and it's coming quick. July 8th through the 12th, we're going back to Ekoe and this year, everything is better. Stuart Hall will be hanging out with us and who knows who else might be there. Through all the games and fun times, you showing up is the most important thing about Fuse. Tell all of your friends what is about to go down. No one is going to want to miss this year.
joy could you see beyond the grave? If love found my soul were dying for, how wonderful, how glorious my Savior's scars, victorious. chains are gone my dead is paid from death to life from grace to Yeah. 
love this promise. Let's sing this one more time. Till he returns or calls me home, here in the power of Christ I'll stand. Here in the power of Christ we stand. Yeah, will you pray with me? Yeah, Jesus, we come before you tonight. We ask that you would, you would speak to our hearts, that you would open our eyes. We give you thanks for this year. We worship you to declare that you alone are only worthy. It is only your name that we sing to, that we believe in, that we can stand on until that day. So, Lord, we pray that we might place all of our hope and all of our trust in, in who you are and in your unfailing love. So, Lord, thank you for the cross that allows us to come before you and give you praise and declare these truths in your name. Lord, we love you, we sing to you, and we pray in your name. Amen. Hey, thanks for singing. You guys can have a seat. I felt so dramatic. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Jeffrey Banks. I'm the Ripple Effect Coordinator. I'm so excited to see all you parents here. I'm excited to see students as well, but I get to see them all the time. So I'm really excited um, to see all of you guys here. And um, kind of like Brett was telling y'all earlier, we sat down with kind of a group of seniors and um, worked on planning out this night and uh, kind of what they wanted it to look like and um, what songs that, you know, they want to sing, games we want to play, all this. And um, even whenever it came down to the message, and um, we thought something that would be really cool is always to learn from your peers, right? It's so valuable to, to, especially for some of you guys who are just coming in to learn from people who, like, are just now exiting the trenches of high school, right? So, um, so you guys made it which is awesome. Um, and so tonight we're going to kind of do a panel to hear their experience and um, what it was like for them kind of going through that. So if you guys want to introduce yourselves really quick, starting over here. I'm, is it on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. <laughs> they can hear you. <laughs> I'm David Daly. I'm a senior at Laney, and I'll be attending NC State in the fall. Why are y'all cheering like he's going to do? No, I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm Anna. Um, I'm a senior at Hoggard, and I will be attending UNCW in the fall. They got it. Hi. Is it on? Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, I'm Claire Rolquin, and I'm a senior at Hoggard, and I'll be attending UNCW in the fall. My name's Jesse Thompson, and I'll be... Hey, he's got a fan club. <laughs> and I'm enlisting in the United States Army. Awesome. Why does it smell like egg up here? What's Sorry. up with that? <laughs> um, so kind of to start off, I'm going to let you kick it off, Anna, since you got the microphone. Um, what was the most challenging thing about walking with Jesus in high school? Yeah, so going into high school, I had a walk with God, but I didn't really know what it looked like to really own my faith. And I went to Fuse last summer, and after Fuse, that really kicked off for me. I really just learned how to own my faith and just really play out like how God wants me to be and who God wants me to be as a person and I started leading a small group in Treasure Island. I started on a student leadership team here and that's just really taken off for me and I've really seen God like work through that and it's just it's been awesome. So. Yeah, cool. How about you Dave? Um, the hardest thing is just staying true to your faith. Um, high schools are subject to a lot and a lot of peer pressure around every corner. Um, so it's just hard to, you know, maintain that and, you know, find yourself. For me, I did fall into a very, you know, I did fall into that peer pressure, and it took a hell, like a toll on me. Um, you know, 
know, mentally and physically, but after just committing myself to Christ, it's been so freeing and no regrets about that. Yeah. What it looked like for like Jesus to kind of come into that situation. Like, um, you obviously had a lot going on and then, and then found Christ in the midst of it. Yeah. So I started coming to church, BC3, um, at a very broken time. I had never really known Christ or the church or just anything growing up. Um, so the timing was perfect. I had been dealing with a lot of stuff mentally and it just, you can't explain it, but like just to see God walking through you the entire time, even when you didn't know him is really, really cool to look back on and reflect. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, all right, now to this side. What's up, Jesse? Um, <laughs> you mentioned earlier that you were headed to the army. Um, what's it? What's it look like, God? Like, how do you see God kind of shaping you moving forward in that? Right. So recently, I've just kind of decided that I'm just going to walk through the doors that are open. Um, mean that I'm going to look and I'm going to look for where God is opening doors for me, and I'm going to walk through those doors and only those doors. Um, and then that way, I put um, God's plan for me first over my plan. And so going into the military, um, it's going to be a challenge for sure, um, uh-huh. where faith is not necessarily important and not a top priority, let alone widely accepted in the military. So shaping me, it's going to be a, um, just an interesting experience. I'm excited to, to walk through it and hopefully walk through it with BC3. So Yeah, sure. that's cool. Do you think that like it's a similar dynamic there, how it was for you in high school or um, whenever it comes to your faith, not really? Oh, yeah, for sure. In terms of like where it's not necessarily popular anymore to be Christian or, or stuff like that. It's getting harder and harder to, to find Christian friends if you're not looking in the right areas. Because right. um, it's not like you walk around the hallway, hey, I'm Christian, you know, like, you know, <laughs> that's not really, you know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like you have to really Christian. speak it out and you have to make it more intentional, really. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, Claire, what, what question do we have for you here? What's it, um, so you're going to UNCW, right? Um, what's yes. it? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what's it? Um, what's it going to be like trusting God with what's next for you? Well, as I said, I'm going to UCW, um, but just the transition from high school to college is hard on everybody. But um, it's definitely going to take a toll on me. And I just um, also I don't really know what I'm going to major in. So that is great. Yay me. <laughs> but just trusting that God has already planned my days before I even get to them is so comforting. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think anyone, like, really figures out their major until they've almost graduated, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, so what about you, David? What, what's it look like trusting God with what comes next? Um, for me, trusting God, uh, it's definitely going to be hard going to a new school new people, um, you kind of get comfortable when you're here, and then now that it's about to be over, you kind of don't know what to expect. Um, <laughs> what was the question? Was the question? <laughs> you're like in the middle of the answer. <laughs> well, uh, what, what's it like trusting God with what comes next? Uh, just letting him take control um, and just being there and just being yourself and letting him guide you and you know, getting out of your comfort zone and just just being yourself and staying true to yourself and I think that's the most important thing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so Anna, I know for you in, um, in school it's been kind of crazy so what like what can students learn from your personal experience and kind of what you've been through? Um, well I've like struggled with a lot of school anxiety and just anxiety in general like all my life but um, I have a learning disability and so through high school that's been super tough on me and I've just given myself a really hard time about that but obviously like God gave me that disability for a reason he like works through that and I've seen him work through that and he's closed a lot of doors for me recently and maybe I don't know why like right now but I will know someday and I've just like really seen him like work through that but if I had to tell someone going into high school um, something it'd just be just put your trust in him I mean, he's going to guide you in the right direction. Like, if you just put all of yourself towards him, like, he's just, he's going to show you, like, so much joy and so many awesome things. So, yeah. That's cool. David, how about you? Yeah, same question. What, um, what can people learn from your personal experience, kind of high school students specifically? Yeah, well, 
during my first two years of high school, I dappled with a lot of stuff, partying, drugs, alcohol, a lot of stuff. Um, but after that, I, I, I eventually stopped, thanks to my parents and friends. They just told me, you know, I, you shouldn't go down this path. And I ended up going to Nicaragua for Ripple Effect last year, last summer. And seeing that and really starting my walk there, um, I was able to just see how free and how clear life is after, you know, you follow Christ. You you wake up in the morning and you know what you want to do and you know how to do it and you just have to put your faith in it and it'll just all work out. That's awesome. How about you, Jesse? With your personal experience, what can uh, people are coming up behind you, right? Learn from you. Um, I think mostly just to, to get out there and, and build positive relationships in terms of like through Christ um, so I've had the pleasure of just like bringing a lot of people to church and it started out not like hey man I'm going to church like you should come with me I don't do anything fun I go to church it was more like <laughs> it was more like it was more like hey I'm doing this I'm sorry I can't hang out right now you know I didn't right. push it on you know you know you don't shove it down people's throat but you know just kind of have that positive like yes I'm a Christian and, and don't be afraid to say it and it's amazing what impact you can have on someone um, just by being there and just be by being a Christian um, ear and just listening to, to what people are going through and, and, and how they're reacting to certain situations and kind of try to steer them towards church and that that alone for me has been such an amazing experience for, for multiple people bringing them to church and just seeing them fall fall in love with Christ you know and that's a big deal for me yeah that's so cool that's so cool Claire you knew you were next <laughs> <laughs> um, my advice would be to never find your identity in partying or um, any relationships that you do. You're never gonna find your identity in that outfit or that handbag. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. That's awesome. You're only gonna find true happiness in God and having a relationship with him. Yeah, yeah, and that, that identity piece is so important. I know like whenever it comes to finding who you are and, and how you're loved and um, in Christ instead of in kind of all these other places that we chase after. And um, y'all's, you know, faith and a lot of y'all's faith going forward into what's next is, um, it's impressive to me, right? Because it's like trusting God with, you know, the unknown, right? Whether it's school or the army or wherever you're going next um, is difficult. And um, and just to witness kind of firsthand the way that Jesus has, has come into y'all's life and worked in y'all's life has been awesome. So um, I'm going to pray this out really quick and then you guys can have a seat. Um, dear God, Thank you so much, Lord, for um, your grace, God, and, and, and your providence, Lord, and, um, and that you step in, God, whenever we're not sure, and that um, even whenever we don't know what's next, God, that you do, um, and that you guide our steps and you guide our path, God, and, um, and that, that in all things, the good stuff, the bad stuff, um, you're working it together, God. So um, I pray that you'd help us all keep our eyes on you and see that moving forward, God, no matter what lo life looks like, um, that we'd see your truth and we'd see... Um, your path for us, God, and, and, and what comes next. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, so, I know a lot of you parents have kind of, oh yeah, let's give them a round of applause too. I'm like about to take over already. That was awesome. Thanks, Jesse. Um, so, I, I know most of you parents know this, but there's a whole lot of um, adults in this room um, that pour into your students on a regular basis. Um, they're small group leaders, and not even just their small group leaders, their house leaders and the host team and kind of all the people that interact with them um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're, or not day-to-day, -day, on a Sunday basis, I guess. Um, but if you're a small group leader or a volunteer in Ripple Effect, if you guys could stand up really quick. You don't have to come up here or anything, but let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. Um, these are really the people... These are the people who, who really make the sacrifice, right, and come here every Sunday, even though you guys have to be with them every day, right? But, <laughs> but pour into them, right, and are, and are there for them. And it's such an awesome um, example of Christ to see in their lives. So what I want to do really quick is if you're a senior small group leader, I want to invite you guys up to the front right here. You don't have to come on stage. You can just hang out right here. Um, and then invite your students to every senior in the room. If you guys could run up here really quick, we're going to pray for you. Um, just want to give you guys an opportunity to, to, to be prayed for and let your small group leaders um, kind of cover you with that before you go out. 
And uh, if I had one piece of advice for you guys going forward, man, it would really be to always keep your eyes on Jesus. And remember that he's there for you. And y'all ain't even listen to me. This is awesome. Y'all pray for each other really quick, and then I'll talk afterwards. So, hey, you guys pray for each other in about two minutes. I'll pray us out, and then I'll start talking again since you guys don't want to listen to me. <laughs> Dear God, um, I pray for these students, God, going forward um, to whatever they're going to next, God, that um, you guide their steps, God, and that you protect them um, and that you show them uh, the places and the people and um, everything that you placed in their lives ultimately for your glory, God. So um, I pray as they go forward to whatever it is, God, whether it's school, whether it's military, whether it's work. Um, just that you bless them in it, God, and that you give them joy in it and happiness in it, God, and that um, in all of it, they'd be able to keep their eyes on you, God, and the good stuff and the bad stuff, God, that they know that you're there for them and that you love them and that um, no one is ever going to care for them and love them for the, than, more than, than you do, God. Um, and I pray that you'd make that clear to them, God, that it wouldn't just be like a Bible verse or a, um, something that somebody says to them, God, but that it would be a truth. That, that invades their mind, God, and something that they wouldn't be able to deny, God, that you love them um, more than anything, God. So um, we pray you keep them close um, going forward, um, that you'd bless them, God, that you'd encourage them, that you'd give them energy for what's next, and um, just that their lives would really continue to play out um, what you can do. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. So let's give them a round of applause. Hey, seniors. Um, Afterwards, you guys, we have some books for you we'd love to give for you guys. We have two different books that y'all can pick from. So you can meet me and Pat out front after we get done with the last song. Meet me and Pat out front, and we'll give you, we got two books for you that you can pick from. But right now we got a journal. So if you guys head back to your seats, head back this way and grab a journal from Pat. Um, the other thing that um, we thought it would be cool to do before the night was over was really... Um, one thing that we see in Ripple Effect is kind of all the stories of, uh, of how Jesus steps into people's lives and how Jesus changes lives. And, um, and ultimately, right, it's all about him. And um, we've seen so many cool examples of that. I know um, that many of you guys have been in the, the front seats of that, but we thought it'd be really cool um, to, to show at least one story um, of how that happened. So um, you guys have a seat and check out the story. This is Jesse's story. We lost my mom to brain cancer when I was about three years old. And at that time, my sisters and I really didn't feel like God was there for us. And our relationship with him didn't exist other than on the surface. The stuff that we were learning in church didn't really line up with how we wanted to live our lives at that point. There was a lot of physical abuse on all of us kids from my father and my, and my stepmom. My sisters really kind of took care of me growing up as the sisters started to move out and, and get kicked out and, and so on and so forth. That abuse and mentally and physically started to get narrower and narrower and more direct, um, eventually ending up on me singly because I was the last one left in the house. One night in particular, um, 
things got physical and, and started getting hit around and stuff. And he ended up getting arrested. And so that night I had to leave. After my dad's arrest, I got emancipated probably about a month after he got arrested. Uh, I went to court and testified in court and testified against my dad, or my dad testified against me. And the judge saw right through everything and, and saw directly to the truth. I took a walk and I just was feeling alone and, and abandoned and frustrated and the things that were taught to my sisters and I about that side of the family, um, we were taught to hate them and we were taught that they were not good people and to find out that they were and that they loved me unconditionally and that they were always going to be there for me no matter what, you know, I, I didn't know who to trust, I didn't, I didn't have anything now. Um, and it was in that emotional time and that time of vulnerability in the woods that that Christ came to me and so at that point I accepted Christ you know right there in the woods and and really my life changed for forever after that coming back from Minnesota that summer uh, I started to make everything intentional with Christ so I started going to church every week because I wanted to go to church every week and so coming to ripple effect weekly um, started to make a huge impact just on just on my everyday life um, because I started setting it started setting the tone for my week um, it started giving me uh, purpose for the week with Christ it started to give me accountability I owe a lot of my success to the people around me and, and my church and my community because they helped me continue to su succeed in everyday life school work you know whatever it is so moving forward, I, I enlisted in the Army, and uh, I ship out on June 19th, nine days after graduation, and, and I'll be gone until November. And so that's the next chapter in my life, you know, walking with God through that is going to be an amazing experience, and, and I'm excited. Trusting God is going to be such a big deal in my life. Um, I'm the kind of person that's going to either go 100% or not at all. Having that trust for God, I think, is so important because Everything that he does in our lives is, is perfect. So I just feel like if I walk through the doors that are open and that he opens for me, I will be doing what he wants me to do rather than what I want to do. Would you guys stand up? Gosh, Jesse, thanks for, thanks for sharing your story. Love the hope that you have that through all things God is faithful and that he will meet you where you are the head that once was crowned with thorns is crowned with glory now the Savior knelt to wash our feet now at his feet we bow the one who wore our sin and shame now robed in majesty the radiance of perfect shines for all to see your name your name is victory all praise will rise to Christ our King 
Your name, your name is victory. Our praise will rise to Christ our King. Our King. The fear that held us now gives way to Him who is our peace. His final breath of now alive in me. We sing his name. Your name, your name is victory. Our praise will rise to Christ our King. Your name, your name is victory. Our praise will rise to Christ our King. Yeah. He uses all things for good. Come on, let's sing this out. By your Spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me in your name i come alive to declare your victory the resurrected king is resurrecting me by your spirit i will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected king is resurrecting me Your name I 
Thank you guys for singing. We hope you guys had a fun time. Have a wonderful summer.